Hello, this is James from Logician. A uh, big hello to all of our beta testers out there, and also anyone else who's uh, having a peek at this video to see Logician's new Minecraft mod manager. Uh, yeah, so to the beta testers, thanks again for helping out. We really appreciate it. The program still has a few little kinks and bugs that we are aware of, but the good thing is that the core functionality of the program is working really, really well. So it's now time for you guys to check it out and see if you can break it. I'm going to walk you through using the program in a minute, right from downloading and installing it to submitting the feedback. Uh, but first off, a quick overview of how the program actually works. What you need to understand is that Magician application is not a standalone program. You can't just install it on the computer and have it work all on its own. It relies heavily on a central database that we maintain for all of the mod installation dependency and confliction information. It's been structured this way because of the constant updating of mods. Almost every single day something gets updated and new versions are released that we then have to test out and make sure that they still work and check the conflictions and dependencies. Uh, we do this every three hours. Uh, we run a check on every single mod that we list and it goes out and checks for updates for each one. And when we do find one, uh, then we manually test it to make sure that it works. We check its conflictions. Uh, we check the dependencies, of course, so the, the mods that it relies on. We double check the installation procedure. Uh, and also, sometimes the installation order is very important uh, for different mods. And once that's all checked out, we then upload that information into the Modgician database. And then the next time you open up Modgician application on your computer, it sucks down all that information so it has the latest data to work from. Uh, now, only the mods that we have tested will appear in the program. If a mod isn't listed there and you want it added in, please just suggest it to us. And then we'll check it out. We'll test it. We'll uh, figure it all out and put it into the system and then it'll show up in the program. Um, there isn't a lot in there at the moment. There's uh, about 40, 50 I think uh, because we spent a lot of time developing the program and the system of how it works and now that that's coming to an end we'll spend a lot more time on adding in as many mods as possible. So there you go. That's a quick overview of the structure of how this system works. Uh, now, on the beta test page link that we sent you, there is a download link uh, and um, as well as a list of requirements. Currently, it's only available on Windows, so you'll need either XP, Vista, or Windows 7 to run it. We re uh, will release a version for the Mac uh, in the future and possibly Linux and, uh, as well, uh, but for now, it's just Windows. You'll also need the uh, .NET 4.0 framework, which is a free download. We've put a link on the beta test page that we emailed to you, so just uh, hit that link. And also just uh, hit the link to download the Magician program, and you should have an icon looking like this wherever you save it. So if we double-click this, hit Run. Next, I'm going to choose everyone because I have a few different profiles that I use this for on this computer hit next and next and you will need uh, administrator privileges so in a second this all there it is okay uh, you will need to yeah be an administrator or have an administrator account that you can use to install it that's done and what you'll get is a little icon with our little bunny rabbit that we've got going for a bit of a logo oh. So, I'm going to double click on that. Now this is the login screen. And um, you do need a, an account on Magician.com, which all of you beta testers already do have, so that's great. If you're checking out this video and you don't have one, you need to click Create Account, and that'll take you to the Magician website where you can create an account. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Okay, now it takes a few moments for the program to open because it's communicating with the Magician database and pulling down all of the latest installation, dependency, and confliction data. And there it is, it's opened up now. Um, by the way, you can move this around on the screen. If you put your mouse over the logo here, you can't move it. So just if you want to move it around, just anywhere else up in this, uh, this header area. 
Uh, first thing that you see is it tells you who is logged in and also what version of Minecraft it has detected on your system. And what it will do is it will filter the mods that we list that are ready to be installed for your version that you're running. Okay, So if there isn't uh, a particular mod for your version, it just simply won't show up. Uh, that saves a bit of confusion on your part. Uh, category section. What these little buttons do is they just simply filter the list of mods by category. And these, this category list may change a little bit as we develop, uh, but it seems to be working fairly well for now. And you can click on several and it'll show all mods within those categories. You can unclick them and it moves them out to the point where there's none there. All right, if you click on all, it'll reset the filter and just show you everything. Uh, this little blank area here, there will be a search function going in there, so you can just type in the name of the mod and it'll filter the list uh, by what you type in. Um, okay, so now the uh, the mod listing. Uh, obviously, it's pretty obvious you've got the name of the mod here, this download and import button, and then this little tick box here. Once we've downloaded and imported the mod, then that will be active, and so we can tick it for installation. You've got the status of whether or not the mod has been imported into the Modician system, and also the status of installation here. This is just a, uh, a brief uh, overview of what the mod does. And this button here gives you a little more information. So the mod name, the, uh, the author of the mod, if they have a, a home page for the mod other than the forum page, and that, that'll link you straight into the forum page there. The download link for the mod, uh, which is taken from the forum page, as well as the Modgician page, uh, name of the mod, and also the, the details, so the, the, um, the overview of what the mod does. And click back. Okay, so now I'll take you through uh, importing and installing some mods, but first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a backup of a clean installation so that if I do break it, uh, I can always just simply restore. So I'm going to choose complete backup. You can, if you want, to you know filter uh, to just do certain parts of the installation. Oh, that's a bit buggy. Just found a bug. You need to click it twice. Anyway, we can do complete backup. Backup now. And then there we go. And if I click on this, it'll actually take me into that folder, so I can see. Uh, the backup itself and everything that's in there. So that's the actual backup. All right. And to restore it, obviously, I just click restore. Back to the mods page. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a few mods all at once and show you how it works. So, because nothing is imported at the moment, what I'm going to do is just start importing some mods so that it, they're ready to be installed. And what I normally do is I do the core mods first. So when we click the download import button, it will give you a link so that you can go and download the mod. I'm just going to show you on this first one. I already have all of these mods downloaded. Download, save, and I put my mods into on the desktop mod downloads 1.2.5. Audio mod 1.2.5. I've already got it. I'll just override it. There we go. Got it. Close that. Minimize that. Okay. Now that I've downloaded it, I can click the import button and audio mod 1.2.5, double click. It will then validate that that is the correct uh, file for that mod. All right. So it does a, a bit of a safety check there to make sure that you do get the right file. And if it's not the right file, it'll tell you. Uh, now, I'm going to throw all these other ones in. I've already downloaded all of these, so I won't waste your time going through that. Um, what did I just do here? This is uh, Custom Mob Spawner, Custom Mob Spawner 1.4.3. There you go. By the way, it'll tell you under more info the name of the mod right there. Okay, we will have that information transferred to the download page here, uh, but for the moment it's in the more info. Uh, we're going to need Forge. Let's find Minecraft Forge. Uh, this is the one here. And 
I'll just, uh, I might pause the video and come back when all these are downloaded. Okay, I've got all the core mods installed now. I uh, don't need Optifine at the moment, that's fine. Alright, so now I'm going to go through and uh, select some mods to install. It's, of course we need too many items. Uh, too many items down the bottom here. Too many items. By the way, I'll just show you what happens. Um, I do an old version. I'll say, oh, sorry, uh, that's the wrong one. All right, so it will tell you. So let's do that again and get the right one. Too many items. That one there. All right, let's get um, let's get portal gun. It's a pretty cool mod. Portal. Gun 1.2.5, I think it's this one it needs. Yep. And weapons, let's get a uh, rapid fire bow. That's awesome. Rapid, rapid, rapid. There it is. Import. Uh, let's get uh, helicopter mod. THX, I think it is. Helicopter, where is it going? Where is it gone? THX. Can you see it? Can't see it. Do I have it? Uh, let me check the name of it. It is... Oh, Mod THX Helicopter. That's right. Import Mod THX Helicopter. There it is. Uh, what about... Let's see... Timber Mod. Makes it easy to chop down a tree. Timber... I don't know if that's available for 1.3.2 yet. Um, what else? Uh, that should be enough. So if I click back to all, you can now see on this little section here everything that's been imported and is ready to be installed. So you've, this is now blue and you can select it for installation. Okay. Alright, so let's, uh, let's get these things installed. Uh, oh, let's get more creatures. Definitely more creatures. No creatures. Where is it? Uh, it's under Doctor's Ark. So there it is. Cool. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tick only the mods that I want installed. I'm not going to worry about the mods that they depend on. So the core mods that we downloaded first off. Um, to show you that it does actually work out what it needs and installs them automatically. Um, and Mo Creatures needs about four different core mods, so it's fairly complex that one. Uh, portal Gun, and uh, Rapid Fire Bow, and a THX Helicopter mod, uh, Timber mod, and of course too many items. And I'll hit install. And what it's going to do is say, give you the list of all the mods that it's going to install, including the core mods. So I'm going to click confirm. And away it goes. And let's see how long this takes. It's 141 at the moment. And every time it installs these mods, uh, what it does is it, it, it checks the, the Minecraft file system and records all the individual files that it installs in there and will use that information to tell whether or not each mod is installed. So it doesn't just simply keep a record of what it has installed because if you go in manually and rip things out or reinstall stuff um, then it, you know, it wouldn't know. But we've created the program in such a way that it actually goes and checks all the individual files of each individual mod that it has installed to make sure that they're still there. And that happens um, after you've installed a mod and also when you open the program. So it's, uh, it's fairly intelligent in the way that it does that. And, oops, and here we go. Okay, so it's found a confliction. Now, because of this, uh, the timber mod is going to probably break mod loader. Um, I'll click yes anyway. And what's probably going to happen is it will crash when we try to launch Minecraft. 
Uh, actually, I probably should have opened uh, Minecraft before installing these to show you that nothing was installed, but uh, that's all right. You'll you'll figure that out on your own. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually reinstall Forge because we've noticed that if we ever have a crash, uh, we simply reinstall Forge and it fixes the problem because that's where most of the problems lie. It's in the confliction between Forge and Mod Loader. If you install Mod Loader after Forge, uh, then you will have problems. We've got a uh, a, a bug um, logged for that, and that's going to be fixed um, hopefully this week. So you won't have to worry about that anymore. But just if you do crash Minecraft, just reinstall Forge for the moment. All right. There we go. So 144. So it took three minutes to install six mods and all their dependencies. Now you can see audio mod. It says modified installation here, which means that uh, one of the other mods has actually overwritten some of the files of that. And my guess is that's probably going to be Forge, uh, which simply says installed, which means that it has all of its files intact. Uh, mod loader, as you can see, modified installation, mod loader MP, modified installation. Okay. Alright, so let's see what happens. Da -da -da! Is it going to work? Yes, it does. Look at that. Cool. Well, that's good so far. Eight mods installed. There they all are. And we'll click to open a world. Alright, let's see how we go. So, uh, thank God for too many items. That's awesome. All right, let's grab uh, an arrow. And where's that rapid fire bow? There it is. Let's get uh, oh the portals. Uh, that's enough for now. There we go. Look at that. Six portals in. One there. Hello, chickens. Going for a swim. Nice. All right. There we go. Nice. See, it works. Cool. So there you go. Go for it. See if you can break it. Let us know. Um, when you do break it, over here on the right-hand side, support and feedback. If you could please follow these steps to uh, let us know about your experience, that would be great. First off is make sure you're running the latest version of, mine, uh, of Magician. When you open Magician, it will check if there's a newer version of the actual program available. If so, it will alert you to download it. Uh, second, uh, if it doesn't come up with that, obviously you've got the latest version. Uh, the FAQ section on the Magician website, just click that and check first to see if your problem is listed there and if there's a fix. If not, then please type in here uh, what you installed and what the result was. Check in your email address so we can get back to you and click submit and that will just send an email to us and uh, we can then check it out and um, get back to you and update the FAQ or whatever needs to happen, update the program. Cool. Thanks very much and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.